So we have pretty short notes. We're just doing two examples today, all right? And then I'll tell you what the homework is. Um, we're going to be talking about something called symmetry, okay? And symmetry is going to be decided on two separate ways. One way is visually, just by, by looking at a graph, you're going to be able to tell me what type it is, and algebraically, which means you're going to be doing some manipul manipulation of numbers and letters, okay? So if you take a look at this chart here, okay, there's basically two types of symmetry we're going to be talking about in this class, and they're really, really important. They come up quite a bit. There's even and there's odd. So you're pretty much, whenever there's symmetry, you're going to say it's either even, odd, or it could be neither, because sometimes it's neither one of those, okay? So let's look at the visual, okay? So visual means like it's the picture, it's a graph. So visually, you're going to look, be able to look at these and tell which type. So let's start with that. So even functions um, have a line of symmetry with the y-axis. So what does that mean? What that means is the y-axis splits your graph into two equal parts, okay? So you should, if, if, if I cut that graph out and folded it on the y-axis, all the parts on the left side would ma match up with all the parts on the right side. That's it. Just being able to look at that and know that. That's even symmetry, okay? Then odd is diagonal identical twins. So either quadrants one and three are exactly the same, or two and four. This is also sometimes called origin symmetry because the middle of the graph always has to go through zero, zero, okay? It can't be anywhere else, okay? So looking at some examples they give us down here, and I'll, come, I'll do the other way in a second. Let's just cover visual first. It's the easier one. Looking at the bottom, you can cross out the explanations at the bottom. I have to do so much of this crossing out with this dumb book. Um, but looking at all four of these graphs, we're going to say if it's even, odd, or neither. And then I'm going to draw some other ones because they don't give us some great examples. Okay, so looking at this graph, if I took this line off of the coordinate plane and just like said, here's a line, it has symmetry, okay? But even and odd means where it is on the coordinate plane. If, for example, so the way this one is now is neither. Let me just show you how it could make it an odd one if it went through the origin, okay? If it were that, that would be odd. See how we have opposite quadrants exactly the same. But because it doesn't go through the origin, origin is zero, zero, it's neither, okay? Yep. Yes, of course. So sorry. Yeah, please, please, you might have to tell me a lot. Sorry. Just, but don't be shy about telling me, okay? I get excited and I get carried away and I start teaching and I don't look. Okay. So does that make sense, guys? The way it was written here is, is neither kind of symmetry. It doesn't split, it's not split evenly by the y-axis or by the origin. Look at B. This is another one that's neither. Great examples here they give us. This is a neither as, as well. It's a symmetrical graph. Parabolas, that's what that is, is symmetrical, okay? The left side of a parabola is exactly the same as a right side. It has a line of symmetry that splits it down the middle. But specifically, is the y-axis its line of symmetry? And the answer is no. So that's a neither. So it's really about its placement on the xy coordinates, okay? What do you guys think about this one? It's another neither. Great. Okay. You can't say that quadrant one and quadrant three are identical. They're not, or the, this one and this one. And you can't say the left side of the graph is the same as the right side. Okay, That has no kind of symmetry. And this is also a neither. Isn't that great? Okay. Now I'm gonna give us I'm gonna give us some great examples of other ones. Okay? How about so just just draw a quick one. Doesn't have to be perfect. If I gave you this graph. Even, odd, or neither? Even, yeah. The y-axis breaks it right in half. So this would be an example of an even, okay? I kind of gave this away before, but. Okay. 
And I'm sketching here. Assume this is a really nice, pretty straight line. What do you guys say about that one? Odd. This is odd. Look, it goes right through the origin, and opposite quadrants are the same. Pretend it's a straight line. Okay. Say it again. Look, let's think of it as quadrants. Does that quadrant match that quadrant? Yes. Look, look back up here. Does this quadrant here match this quadrant here? Yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, that's what makes this odd. It goes right through the middle, but it makes the same exact shape in both of those, okay? Whereas these were all examples of not um, ones. You, saw, you see it now? How about this one, guys? How about... Okay, so again, everything we're doing we'll see in the homework, so you'll get to practice these. These are just like the ones we did the other day, maybe yesterday, where you just had to say yes or no, it was linear. Okay, some of these problems that are going to be on your first quiz, pretty basic, just kind of knowing the definition. It's yes or no or even or odd, things like that, okay? So if, if you remember, I told you there's two ways to tell, okay? This one was pretty easy. I think you guys got it, right? The visual way. Now we're going to practice the algebraic way. So if you turn the paper over, we're going to use the idea that's in example eight, but they didn't give us enough room. I would not try to squeeze it on here. Unless you write really small and you want to try to fit it here, I can't do that, okay? So this is one of those moments, and I know we have to get used to the way I do things. You're going to have to insert a piece of paper, okay? Very, very soon, we will get to the type of notes and stuff where you don't even have to use the book very often at all. But right now, we're kind of all over the place. So just bear with me with it. Yeah. Huh? I mean, if it's an emergency, yes, I really would rather you wait because you're going to miss the, the hardest part of this lesson. So, yeah, because we have one example to go. Yeah. You can't, oh, for the page I just turned it over on. It's okay, I'm gonna use a piece of paper anyway. So we're gonna do example eight on a separate sheet of paper is what I'm getting at. So I, I didn't zoom in on that paper at all, that's why. That's why you couldn't see it. If you wanna try to finish the fit it on there, you can, but I don't advise it, okay? So for example eight, we're continuing this even, odd, or neither. So here's what we do. I'll give you guys a chance to catch up to me. So you guys can see, you want to be ready after the notebook check. Have your um, pages in there, extra paper, ready to go for anything I throw at you, okay? So what we did, for example, seven just a minute ago, is we decided even, odd, or neither, basically visually, just looking at it. No work to show, just kind of knowing what it should look like, okay? Sometimes they don't give us the picture. They give us the actual equation, and we have to do a little bit of math to figure that out, okay? So what we do first for step one is plug in negative x for all x values. And I'm going to explain that in a minute. We're just going to write that step. Step two is simplify. And then step three will be decide which type it is. And I'm going to list them for you. So understand what this notation is. We've talked already, you know, you don't have to write this, but that another way of writing y is f of x. Okay? The reason we do that is for problems just like this. Here's the notation of plugging in a negative x for all x values. When I write it like this, I'm saying for all my x's, 
plug in a negative x. That's what this means algebraically, um, like set up. So I'll show you that um, in practice here in a second. If all signs stay the same, that is even. And again, it's okay if you don't know what I'm talking about right now. We're just writing it down and we're going to do an example. If I plug in a negative x and all signs change, we are odd. And if neither of those happen, it's neither. So if only one sign changes or whatever, it's all or nothing. Either all the signs stay the same from the original or all change. And I'm going to explain it better in a second, give you a second to catch up. Let's do an example of each, and then you'll be ready to work on the homework. So if you look at example A, f of x equals x squared plus 2. If I asked you, is this even, odd, or neither, you go, okay, this is where she told us to plug in a negative x. So look, this is the notation. This is telling me to put a negative x in place of any x in the problem. There's only one x in this one. So I'm going to take out that x, and I'm going to plug in a negative x. And we plug negatives into an equation, we always put it in parentheses. So that's plugging in negative x for x. So that was step one, plug in negative x for all x values. We did that. Step two is to simplify it. Now here's the thing. We need to know, um, this is a common mistake all of my students, it's probably the number one mistake we make algebraically, no matter what level, what grade, and that is dealing with negatives and powers, okay? Whenever you have an even number on a power, it is going to end up being positive. Because think about it, a negative times a negative is positive, right? Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. So if you have two negatives, when you simplify it, it just goes back to being positive. Okay, so every two negatives that you have cancel each other out and become positive. So if I have two, or four, or six, or eight, or a hundred and eight, or a thousand and eight, the answer is always going to be positive. Okay? So now we look. We did step two. Step three, look at the original and look at the one we have now. What happened? Did all signs stay the same or did all signs change or neither? Same. So when all signs stay the same, that means it's even. And I'll prove it to you, because we already learned how to do it visually. I kind of hint showed you a little bit yesterday on these calculators. So let me just show you what this looks like as a graph. Shoot, x squared plus 2. That's an even function, right? The y-axis splits it to equal parts. Okay. Now, even if I, you use this on the, the quiz, you still have to show the work. So I would want you to be able to do this, all right? So there's an even. Let's do another one. Okay. Let's call this one g of x. So I give you this problem, and I say even, odd, or neither. You go, okay, that's right, even, odd, or neither is when I have to plug in a negative x for all x values. So that's my first step. So I'm going to take out all the x's, and I'm going to replace them with negative x's. And I'm always going to use parentheses every time. So there happen to be two different x values in there. Both of them got taken out, put in negatives with parentheses. Now, this step right here is where most students mess up. So pay attention, just like I was saying on the last one. If evens 
cancel out and become positive, I'm sure you guys can assume that odds are negative. So if there's an odd exponent like 3, remember the trick. Every 2 cancel out and become a positive. So if I have three negatives, two of them become positive, but then I still have that negative left over. So anytime there's an odd power with a negative, it's going to stay negative. Same thing here. This is a power of what? We talked about this, I think. Is it this class? What, what's the power on this x right here? One, right? We don't write it. If you want to, you can. It's understood to be a one. That's odd. So that means it's negative. So basically, don't forget, a, num a sign in front of a number stays with that number. This is negative 4 times negative x. A negative times a negative is what? Positive plus 4x. Okay? So I look at my, another color here, my original and what I have now, and I compare. Did all signs stay the same? Nope. Look, x to the third is positive, x to the third is negative. Did all signs change? Yes. We went from positive to negative, negative to positive. That's what I mean by all signs changing. That means this is odd. I will show it to you. Almost done. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you. x to the third minus 4x. So if you look at the picture here, we, look, we kind of talked about the visual. Not kind of, we did. If you look, the opposite quadrants are the same. And it goes through the origin. That's really, really important. It has to go through the origin. That's odd. Okay? And let's see what a neither looks like, just for fun. Because you guys are doing such a great job. I'll call this one h of x. x squared plus 3x. Even, odd, or neither. Okay, that's when I have to plug in a negative x for all my x values, putting it in parentheses. And I simplify. So, even, right, two negatives cancel each other out and become positive. So negative x squared, when I simplify this, becomes positive x squared. Remember, this is a 1. That's negative. That's a negative times a positive, which would be negative, right? Positive 3 times negative x would be negative 3x. Okay? Time to compare. Okay, x squared stayed the same, right? Positive, positive. But what happened with the 3x? We changed. Positive, negative. So it's not all or nothing. It has to be all signs stay the same for even, or all signs change for odd. If there's a mixture, that's neither. Let me show you that real quick so you can see it visually. So it's a parabola, but see how it's not on the origin? It's not being split exactly by the y-axis? It's neither, okay? So it's very specific, even on or neither. How do we feel? Okay. The last one. Just understand, so let me just go through it real quick, because if one person's confused, there's probably more than other, more than that. So when I do this, when I did this step right here, other than that, so I'm going, okay, positive, Positive, yes. Positive, positive. Everything stayed the same. Okay, let's do the next one. Positive, negative, negative to positive. So everything changed. Okay, everything, meaning all the terms. There happened to just be two, but. And then on the last one, positive, positive, so stayed the same, but this one, positive, negative, changed. So we have a stay the same and a change within the same problem. That's neither. It has to be change, change, or stay, stay. Am I making sense? Okay. Let's see, how, let's see how you do on the homework, and if you need me to come over and explain it better to you or confirm with you. 
Okay. Anybody else before I tell you what you're doing for your homework? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think he was first. Go real quick. And then she'll go. All right. Here is your homework, my darlings. Guys, a huge part of this class is labeling. So you're going to page 22 and 23. Later on, I'll be giving you lots of worksheets and not making you use this book. You're writing this down. So please be on this page writing this down because I'm going to go through what the problems are because I cut some of the work for you. So I changed directions on some of them for you just to make it a little easier. So A3, you're going to write that down. So the first three, just visually, even, odd, or neither. I'll put it back up. Get to this page. You're doing the algebraic way. I only gave you two. 22 and 23 are what we just did, okay? And I have the work there. But try it. Don't just copy my work. And then the last chunk of problems, 25 through 30, is all you have to do. I cut a whole bunch of work here, guys. Just what we, it's practice of what we did yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Deciding if it's linear or not. Yes or no. And remember, to be linear, the exponent has to be 1 on your x. So this is just practice from what we did before. You do not need to do the even odd algebraic method on there like it's telling you to. Okay. All right. So All right, and you guys know I don't mind you working together. I'm going to come around and help you. It just takes me half an hour to get this on the screen correctly, so just bear with me. Um, Marcus, can you see that okay now? You can see that? Okay. Yeah. You said something about your ear earlier, right? It was. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll, let me just finish with.